What up, mother and engineer? Hello. Good morning, everyone. Hello, engineering community. Good morning from this new world that we live in. Shout out to the supermarket workers. Good morning, day one of the engine vlog. Vlog numero uno. The engine community are coming together to try and relieve some of the anxiety and some of the feelings of uncertainty that are going on in this um, strange time. So my day started like this. I got up at about half one. No, my wife got up at half one to look after our youngest son who decided just to um, scream, just scream the house down. Got up at quarter to five because Sam was being a sod, put him back to bed. Good morning, we have just woken up. It's my housemate working from home. Hello. <laughs> Busy. So I'm gonna get my backpack and head into the office. Little on the quiet side for rush hour. So I'm just walking to the office and look who I bump into. <laughs> <laughs> Too close, Chris. Too close. Got the fuel, feeling good, getting all our nutrients. So I did the uh, webinar this morning. It's about, same as a football manager, it's about optimization. If we know exactly which channels and which assets. The good thing about that was, once all this started sort of going down, I thought, okay, I might be stuck at home. So I looked online for a few webinars and stuff. Um, and just thought, <laughs> I just thought, I might as well try and upskill if I can during this period. And the only way really I'm gonna be able to do that is, is to go through webinars and that kind of thing. That was quite good. Now heading into the office to see the rest of the gang. Jason Hat from Hatbox Hairdressing, our neighbor, business yeah. neighbor. Come to see if I can help the boys, but I don't know. What, um, Free can we? Which brave soul is this? Yeah. Stress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently working from a meter square space on the landing. It's not an office. It's on, but the mouse has died. Best given that I don't have the luxury of office to go to and then leave. I'm being quite stringent with my work-life separation process. Also, I've changed the living room area so that it looks a bit more separate. Work candle scent, switch off candle scent. Let's go, so squat. I can't read and I look a mess but I feel really good and it's worked. Jackson is still going to school so there's no quarantine yet. I get to spend more time with this how I'm gonna, How am I going to work with him? <laughs> School's closing on Friday is going to be really interesting. I'm not sure how I'm going to cope without six bottles of wine so I really must order some wine. Halfway through the day come out for a walk so that I don't go stir crazy. So I'm just going for a quick walk, get a bit of fresh air, break from the screen. So I guess I'm out and about now and everyone's still moving around and doing stuff. And I think we forget that, especially if you're working from home. You know, like everyone just retracts in fear, but I think it's not necessarily a time to fully retract. It's a time to be cautious for sure, but to, to innovate and create uh, new opportunities and push forward with them and maybe, yeah, find new ways of doing things. Um, that's what we're trying to do. Yo, I need to stop looking at here and here. That's so narcissistic. We are at Engine and starting editing the video. We've got a little group chat going, people sending in their videos, so we're probably like halfway through the day. Um, really excited, everyone's got wicked energy about this. So yeah, um, it's just nice that I've had a few conversations today that I didn't realize I wouldn't have thought this, but I've actually like helped calm down, realizing that everyone's going for the same thing and it's just really solidified why we're doing this vlog. So. Excited to see what everyone's up to and let's get back to it. I feel like I'm kind of getting into the flow of working again and I'm finding things that do work for me from working from home. <laughs> Hi Anna, I need a bit of this every day in my life. I am not negating that for some people this is a very serious issue. I left Jackson at school today with just this massive spring in my step. Everyone was having a chat and a laugh in the playground. And I've never been one of these like playground mum people. Everyone asking was asking me how I was because they all know that I've recently gone into, you know, self-employment and running my own business. And yeah. I actually think it's quite nice what's happening. It's really weird that I feel like that. 
No, I feel like it's not often you're kind of living something that you know you're always going to remember and this is one of those windows. Yesterday I felt really um, down about everything but today I've kind of woken up with a new spring in my step and a candy attitude. What's changed? I've been listening to music. I've been listening to Liam Gallagher's second album, Why Me, Why Not, good album. E17, the very best of, another good album. Take that, never forget. The ultimate collection, another good album. So I've had loads of upbeat dance music on, singing along, my neighbour probably hates me. Another good album. Um, that's fine. So I've got this talk on Friday and I've been properly procrastinating on actually running through it, it's really naughty. So I set myself a challenge today to perform this a life to love presentation. Quite nerve wracking, very special audience. I bet you can't guess who it's gonna be. Hello. <laughs> Look, and Molly's there too. Hello Molly. Molly the dog. Got my feedback, which is very helpful. Thanks, Ned. I, I'm alone at the moment. My wife's gonna come and join me. I do have a few other friends here with me. They're not my kids' toys, Ned. They are indeed my own toys. Um, which I'm just going to show you there. Yes, I'm a big kid. Anyway, I don't even know why I'm telling you this. In the house. It's really easy to social distance in here, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Jeffrey, have you seen a knock-on effect in your work of organ building? The gestation period for an organ contract is lengthy. By the time this, the effects of this hits us, it'll be, what, sort of 2022. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's the small businesses that are really going to struggle in this time. Raw pet food supplies and yellow bourbon coffee and places like that. Panic buy your coffee from them. Panic buy your dog food from them because they need it more than Tesco do. Went to Aldi, bought some food, went to Boots. Went and got some lunch for Lauren from the Red Lion East Haddon, representing for one of my clients who are now doing a takeaway service. Just going to see my boy Stuart. He's giving me a little bit of work at the weekend to tide me over. Lovely bloke. Offered to pay me up front because I'm struggling for cash a little bit. Great guy. Um, always supported the space. Update. Just had to collect this little one from nursery as he's feeling poorly. That's where my day ends. Oh, it's happening. <laughs> Everybody's worried. What do we do? How do we work? How do we continue? Uh -huh. And how do we need to change in future? People are starting to think about that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think the impact that we'll see going forward is when it all comes down, is uh, there will be a fundamental shift on how people work. Simple as that. But you're loving it at the moment. Yeah, yeah, you were this place is great. Remote working before? Uh, kind of. This, yeah. I was doing a lot of um, travelling and then I did a lot of um, remote working from home. Mm -hmm. um, uh, now work at um, Engine and basically the environment here is perfectly set up for people like myself who work in bigger um, enterprises mm -hmm. to come and work, rub shoulders with the creative types, mm -hmm. get some uh, creative juices flowing and yeah, then yeah. take that back into the big wide world. What we have to, what we have to th be thankful for is the fact that this didn't just wipe us out. I mean, it's like sheer twist of fate that it only makes us ill. Yeah. Mm, you know. True, yeah. <clears throat> I keep having this thing about having us writing a story about it wipes everybody out from 10 and above. <clears throat> and so you start the story. <clears throat> you need to write this. And you you start the story it. where you've just got the last few adults. social medias. Yeah. I was just uh, going to say, like, never mind self-isolate, isolate yourself with a nice bit of solid words. Like, that sounds a bit strange, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, by yourself, with your own wood, no. You that's not quite it either. 